so hey guys uh, today i'm going to show you how to fix the desync or the audio desync issue in blender so sometimes what happens is if you have really long videos in blender and you play back the video inside blender before exporting the video you can see that the video is fine like the audio and the video are in sync but then when you try to export the video out of blender what happens is the exported video has slight desync issues so you'll find that after about 10 or 12 minutes the audio is no longer in sync with the video uh, so how to fix this unfortunately uh, this is an issue in blender since it does not give you a lot of options for editing the audio and there is no work on work around really for solving this issue in blender but if you use the program called shortcut for this which is another open source video editor you can easily do this and i'll uh, show you how like you can fix the issue so first thing is uh, what i'm not showing here is you can just try to use blender if you like blender use the animations and then export the video as usual and then what you can do is just import the video which has the uh, audio desync issue inside shortcut so the way to do this is you need to first uh, click on uh, create a new project in a uh, shortcut then click on the playlist here and you can simply drag and drop your video in the playlist over here so let's go ahead and do, uh, do that so i have a sample video here and you'll notice that it uh, starts playing so uh, now what you can do is inside the timeline over here you can just create a new video track so click on add video track and drag and drop this video over here you'll notice there is a gap that is created but you can easily remove this by right clicking and choosing remove uh, now you have the video over here and a very good thing about uh, shortcut is it allows very fine level playback adjustment so you can go to properties over here and you'll see that you can adjust the speed up to six decimal places which is awesome but over here we can see that the audio and the video are together so if we change the speed the uh, the speed of both of these things gets changed so what you can do is you can detach the audio like that and then over here you can uh, make fine level adjustments like make this something like if you want to make it slower you can just change the speed of the video I mean the audio to be something like that and enter and make sure you have pitch compensation selected and you'll see that uh, just like that the speed of the audio has changed to 0.997 and then you can simply play the video and check if the audio is in sync if it's not in sync you can just again make the fine level adjustments and until both of them are in sync and then after that you can simply go to export and choose your configuration preset i use youtube and click on export file or, or before clicking on export file you can go to advanced and make some other changes here like the resolution codec audio whatever is required and then export and there you have it you have solved the blender desync issue using shortcut that's all bye